What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Y'all know what time it is. Real Talk Wednesday. Okay, what's up, you guys? Grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your agua, wine, whatever you're drinking. Make sure you stay hydrated, okay? What's up, you guys? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Hope y'all all have been like a really great day, had a great weekend, had a great week, beginning of the week. Whatever you're doing, whenever you're watching this, I hope y'all all doing well staying blessed staying positive and staying safe y'all and staying cool because you already know it's the summertime girl so and out here in arizona it'd be like 125 degrees no lie and girl this is when i stay in the house like let me tell y'all in the summertime i really don't need no friends okay because i have realized like when i be hanging out with my friends they want to do stuff they want to go to the park they want to do jumping they want to do double dutch outside they want to do hula hoop you know what i'm saying um they want to go to a lot of outdoor concerts and listen let me tell you in the summertime i don't need no friends because it'd be 125 degrees out there and i don't want to be out there like seriously i don't need no friends in the summertime we could be friends once the end of october hit okay when it start cooling down and then we could do all those things that you want to do but out here in the summertime when it's 125 degrees 120 degrees it being the three digits okay for damn near the whole summer we don't need to be hanging out outdoors okay not at my old ripe age okay girl leave that for the youngsters because you know them kids they love to go outside and play now that's because they don't know no better all right kids don't know no better but they be out there playing now let me be for real with you i don't really see kids on my block where i live at playing outside them kids got sense these kids in arizona be having sense they probably be like it's a hundred and something degrees outside mommy i'm not going outside to play with my friends i'm gonna stay right indoor here and annoy you okay I don't see any kids out here. Now, I see the kids. There are kids in this block, and I'd be seeing them hanging out with each other, but in the summertime, you'll see them. Mm -mm. So why would I want to hang out with my friends? And I'm grown. Like, nah, we don't need to be friends in the summertime, okay? <sighs> Period. It's for real. So I hope y'all staying cool, because out here in Arizona, you best to stay cool. I'm telling y'all, I go, I go one place in the morning, and then I don't come back outside. And on the weekends, y'all know I don't do shit. Like, I don't even go anywhere on the weekends. Sometimes I might get up and go to the grocery store real early to get me something for breakfast and me and the grandkids. But other than that, I'm not going outside i stay in my house i stay in my little loungewear and i stay inside okay i stay downstairs i watch tv i do my bracelets i stay inside okay i will see you people in the end of october for real it'll be hot as hell out here so i hope whoever living in arizona y'all know the y'all know the drill y'all know what to do in the summertime because girl yes and funny thing like let me tell y'all so it's been this month july 13 will mark 11 years for me living in Arizona, 11 years, okay? It's crazy how time goes by so quick. Like, I cannot believe I've been here almost 11 years, okay? Let's just say 11 years. I can't believe it. Like, it just, it doesn't feel like yesterday, but it really doesn't feel like 11 years. Like, I'm like shocked. And y'all know I've been in the same house for the past 11 years. So last year, I've been uh, considered a tenure, a tenure to them, you know what I'm saying? And the company that I pay the rent to, rent management company, now mind you, they have changed management companies twice. They didn't even tell me about the first time because had they told me about it the first time, a girl would have tried to purchase the house, okay? The house that I live in was estimated at 234000 like some years and years ago. But now because the market went up, it's considered like in the 400s, okay? And last year, when since I became a tenure last year, they have been offering me, you know, you can purchase the house if you want. You can purchase any house that we have readily available because you're a tenure. And um, now, mind you, this management company, John, they are um, based out in Albany, New York. I never knew that. So um, the good thing about it is I've been here for almost 11 years and they don't do my rent like that. Like how, you know, if I was to move out, the rent would definitely be higher. But um, I want to purchase this house. I would love to purchase this house, but I got to fix my credit. I got to fix my credit. I am not, I do not have the best credit score. And I'm going to just be for real and say that I pay all my bills on time, but I just don't have the best credit score. You know, in the past I have done things like not pay bills. Okay. And, um, not pay bills. So, I mean, I paid them, but late or maybe not paid them. So of course that has messed up my credit score significantly. I'm not really sure what my credit score is, but I would definitely love to purchase this house because who the hell wants to move like nobody wants to move so i am thinking heavily about it because you know at first i didn't really want to stay here for the rest of my life but even if i don't stay here for the rest of my life it's still nice to have a house that you can possibly leave on to your 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 children and just move somewhere else because girl you know i want to live somewhere where it's really really quiet and i would like to purchase this house you know it does hold a lot of memories for me i've been here 11 freaking years and it's so crazy because the other house that I lived in prior to this in New York, I lived at that house from 2007 until 2013. 
I think, yeah, 13, 13. And I was there for six years. And it, the house was like two times smaller than this, twice twice the size in smallness. It was just smaller. It was, it was much smaller. And we made it work. Um, we definitely made it work. But it was old. That house was like 155 years old. And no lie, it was really, really old. Shit, my heat was an oil tank. I had to purchase oil. Oil is not cheap, okay? There would be days in there when I would be like, turn that damn heat down, okay? Because I can't afford the heat like that. But um, I would definitely love to purchase this home. But I'm just mad because why y'all didn't ask me when y'all first decided to sell it underneath me? I didn't even know. Because I would have definitely been like, yeah, girl. But I have to fix my credit. So I don't know how to go about fixing my credit. Like I can't, I could definitely cannot do it on my own, but I do know that there are so many people out there that claim they will help you fix your credit, but be real scammers. Okay. So if you guys have any suggestions, recommendations, I would love for you guys to put it in the chat or uh, comments, or you can send me an email. Y'all know my email. I'm gonna definitely give it in this video. But I really want to fix my credit. And I've seen so many people saying they help fix credit, they help fix credit. But it's like, do I really, really, really want to give you my money? It's so many scammers that do this too, like credit repair tax. Credit repair tax is what they should call themselves because we got veneer tax. We have um, we have um, eyelash tax. We have, um, we got a lot of tax. We just got a lot of tax. So the next thing possible is, you know, credit repair tax. And a lot of them could be scamming just to get your money. So I really need somebody that's really, really authentic in doing this and not a scammer. So if you guys have any suggestions, recommendations, please leave it in the comments, please. And leave it in my email too. I would love to get my credit repaired. You know what I'm saying? Because I, w I hate moving. Who the hell wants to move after 11 years? Like you guys know I have accumulated so much stuff in this house and not saying my house is junky or cluttered because it's definitely not that. But you know, I've gotten furniture. I moved here with some things. Of course, I moved here with some of my furniture, not all, but some, but I've gotten furniture. I have two living rooms. I have living rooms full of furniture. I have dining room. I have children, you know what I'm saying? I have a garage full of stuff. So, and my car is in the garage too. So, cause I ain't letting the garage take over and I can't park my car. Cause girl, let me tell you something. You do not want to be parking your car on the street in these sunny days out here, but I've, I've accumulated a lot and I like my space and I like where I'm at. And like I said, it holds a lot of memories. So what are you trying to talk about over there, pancake? What are you talking about? So I really want to fix my credit so that I can stay here and so that I can live here and this be my forever home even if I don't want to live in it at least I could still have it but other than that you know right now there um, I'm having some repairs done in the kitchen um they have a um kitchen sink my kitchen sink is constantly leaking and so I kept telling them like listen it's leaking underneath it it just kept it does this it seemed like it wants to do this on a yearly basis and it started messing up the wood so I let them know it's messing up the wood. It's making the wood warp and it gave wood damage, water damage. So um, they are actually taking out the kitchen sink, the wall, the drywall right now and repairing it. I'm praying that they give me a new kitchen sink sink part and, and not put back that old porcelain one in because I have this white sink. My sink is white. It's a double sink. It's deep, great deep sink. But it's white porcelain and it's so ugly and it was ugly when I moved here and I've used pumice stones or whatever you call those to get the stains out and Clorox bleach and um, the powder bleach stuff and it just doesn't take it away. I think it's so unattractive. Can I get like a stainless steel sink, please? A nice deep stainless steel sink would be amazing. Now, mind you, this is like I said, I pay rent and I've been living here 11 years, never been late on my rent at all. But I would like a new refrigerator too. The same refrigerator I've had, and it's a white refrigerator. I have a white refrigerator and a white stove, and I'm so over it, okay? Like, I really feel like, you know what, girl? I'm gonna go out and buy my own refrigerator. I'm gonna go buy me uh, my own refrigerator. It ain't gotta be fancy schmancy, but I would like it to be a non white refrigerator and non white stove. But it's like, girl, if you don't live here forever, what do you. You understand what I'm saying? You just, you get what I'm saying. But anyway, other than that, how's y'all day going? Let me tell y'all. First of all, okay. You, girl, I, will, I woke up yesterday feeling extra skinny. Today and, and yesterday. I, I swear to you, when I woke up yesterday, I went, um, you know, because my bathroom is part of my lip, my bedroom, okay? So I have the master bedroom and I don't have, um, like my bathroom area is really huge and my bedroom area is huge. But once you come out the bed, you know, you could walk a little bit and there's the bathroom. And then there is a separate area for the toilet with a door. But, you know, I got up, I went to brush my teeth and I was feeling extra skinny. I looked at myself and I did my little stretch, you know, my little yawn stretch. And I was like, girl, you look a little extra skinny. I don't know. It must have been a mirror because I felt like I had a little bit more neck. I felt like I lost my gut a little, a little bit, not all of it. And I, and I did. But you know something? And today I felt that way. You wake up a little bit smaller because, girl, let me tell you, by the end of the night, my stomach is protruding a little bit more than it was in the morning time. Like I, when I woke up yesterday, okay, I'm no lie. 
lie. And I don't care if y'all laugh at this, but when I woke up yesterday, I, I felt thinner. I felt lighter. And I went, I looked in the mirror and I said, girl, do you got a little bit more neck today? Did you, did you fall asleep? And some fairy came and took off an extra couple of pounds. This is how I felt. Okay. This is how I really felt. When I woke up like that this morning, I felt the same type of way. You know what I'm saying? I was looking, I was stretching. I was like, okay, girl, you're not that bad. You, you're not that bad. Girl, if I could wake up skinny, I'd be damn happy. Okay. Let me tell you, I felt like I woke up skinny yesterday. All right. I don't know if it was the mirror or it was because I didn't eat before I went to bed because that's my habit. But yeah, I felt a little bit extra thin yesterday. All right. I don't know. Have y'all ever felt like that? You woke up, you wasn't so bloated and stuff. I was telling Tati this and she was like, it's probably water weight. I said, well, shit. I said to myself, well, shit, a bitch about to be dehydrated. Cause if it's water weight, that's getting me to fupa, I'm about to be dehydrated. I'm not going to drink shit. Okay, I'm not going to drink no water. I'm not going to drink nothing. I'm going to just be dehydrated, okay? But other than that, you know, um, let me... Okay, so like I tell y'all, I don't do shit on the weekends no more. I'm so proud of myself. Monday through Friday, I'm working. And one of my followers, subscribers, said the same thing. She felt she does the same thing now because she works from home and she said the same effing thing. She is not doing anything. Her and her husband chilled for the weekend. They stayed in bed later. Girl, I told you, you got to you gotta give yourself self-care and self-love. Even if you just sitting around and not doing shit, you got to realize if you do shit every day, all day long, Monday through Friday or whatever work days you're, work, you're working. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a day where you're relaxing. It is self-care. That is self-care. If you're laying in that bed and not doing anything because you have accomplished all your goals and tasks and assignments for the week, you deserve a day of doing nothing at all, even if it's two. You know what I'm saying? I used to work myself like a dog sitting at this computer, okay? People would say, oh, you lucky you work from... No, girl, I work harder than what I would have worked if I was clocking in for somebody. So this Saturday I sat and I did nothing. You know, I chill with my grandkids during the morning time and stuff. And I just sit there. I make my bracelets and stuff like that. And I finally, finally got off of watching the same shit over and over and over again. Y'all know, I will tell y'all, I will watch the same series multiple times. I, if I really, really like something, I don't give a damn if I watch it a hundred times. I'm watching that shit again because I really, really, I really, really enjoy it. So this weekend, I watched, well, not the whole weekend, but to yesterday, Sunday, because, um, you know, today is Monday, um, but it's actually Wednesday when y'all are watching this. Um, I watched this series on um, Amazon called Fallout. Now, I kept seeing the advertisement for it, and I really, really, really actually do like it. It's, it's science fiction. Like I told y'all, I love science fiction. That's my go-to, so I was really enjoying it. If you need a new series to watch and you have Amazon, watch Fallout, especially if you love um, science fiction. It's a really great show. I want to watch this other show on there. I can't remember the name of it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. It's not science fiction. Um, God damn, what is the name of it? I can't really remember what it's called. Um, but the show has a gentleman in it who is, who's, you know, well known on, in TV. Okay. And I think, I do believe that this is an Amazon, um, show. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do believe that this is one of their shows. Okay. Because I was watching like, um, a lot of different series and I lose interest in certain things. Like I was watching Ghost. I loved Ghost when it was on and the new one with Tyreek. I, I couldn't really get into it as much as I got into the original you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I was watching Black um, BMF, and I haven't finished watching that. I think I'm going to have to start, like, one season over. Um, the Shy just came back on, so I didn't get back into watching that. I will watch it once it's finished because I like to kind of, like, I don't want to wait every week for a show. That's just me. The show I'm talking about on Amazon is called um, Parish. It's called Parish. Well, I can't say his name, but... It ha it's called Parish, and they only have one season of it so far, and I haven't watched it yet, but there's only six episodes, and see, this is the thing that I don't like. If it's not enough episodes, then I'm not watching it, and if it's not enough seasons, then I'm definitely not watching it, because six episodes, I could watch that in one day, and then I gotta sit around and wait? Nah, I'm not watching that, but let me know if you've watched the show called Parish, and if so, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, but other than that, so like I said, I chilled out this weekend. I sat and I watched Fallout, which is a really great series. Now, I don't really know how many episodes are in that. I think it's like eight. This is the first season, too. I'm going to be pissed off when I finish watching it, but I will be watching it. Because sometimes I'm not paying attention because I'm doing shit. I'm making bracelets. So I was making bracelets this weekend. And y'all make sure to check out the website because the sponsor of today's video is Muffin Is My Lovers, made by Muff Accessories. So I definitely am going to be promoting myself a whole lot more because that's what I need to do. And I felt like last week when I did promote myself, girl, I got way more orders which was great and i was so appreciative so thank you guys for um, purchasing bracelets from my website i am definitely starting to make now watch apple watch fans so i'm just waiting for my 
pieces to come in for my Apple Watch bands. You know, the piece that goes in the band. And then I'm going to start making those. Okay, so definitely check them out. But yes, I have new bracelets on the website um, that I'm going to be showcasing. So make sure you check it out. Made by Muff Accessories. These are handcrafted items made by your girl. Muffin is my lovers. Okay, and over here we do custom bracelets. And we're also going to be doing custom watch, Apple Watch bands. Also, I do have earrings that I have um, created. I just got to... Um, put them back on the website. But yes, make sure you check out my website. I also do sell wigs as well. Right now, there's not too many wigs on there. There are wigs on there, um, but there are wig lots. So what I mean by wig lots is you will get four brand new synthetic lace front wigs for a discounted price for like $70. Okay. I have that. I think I have like probably like five different lots. Also have a lot. When I say a lot, meaning LOT, meaning you get four items or five items in that lot, lot one, lot two, lot three, lot four, lot five. So I have those on my website. I also have a lot that has, um, weaving hair, bundles of weaving hair and closures brand new. Okay. Well, yeah, why would you want some old shit, right? Um, on sale, so yeah, check that out. But Made by Muff Accessories is launching new bracelets today or yesterday, whatever day. I'm, I'm going to do it today, Monday, but y'all will see it'll be a couple days later. But Made by Muff Accessories is launching some new added bracelets. So there are bracelets on the website right now. Make sure you check them out. If you love charm bracelets, you know, designer luxury charm bracelets, then check them out. Check them out. I got y'all. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? Loads of different ones. So yes, I'm definitely going to be promoting myself more. And this is just a hobby of mine. I love to make jewelry. Um, I definitely love to make jewelry. Um, I just don't like to sit around and have nothing to do. Hold on. Hold on, guys, because I got to go downstairs and get my package. I got some new inventory coming, some new beads um, from my vendor, new beads, new charms. Okay. So, yes. Hold on for one second. Okay. So, yes, that was my delivery for my beads and my new charms. Whew, okay. I'm so excited. I get excited when I get new inventory and I haven't bought, I hadn't bought new um, beads and charms in a minute in like some months. When I tell y'all my inventory is stacked for beads, I really didn't need to purchase any, but I wanted some new colors. You know what I'm saying? I needed some different colors and, and such. So I'm excited because I, it's here. It's here. So I'm going to do an unboxing video for my new inventory and then I'll just do a separate video of what I have. But yeah, check out Made by Muff Accessories. You know, if you love good bracelets, I have these five stacks. $35, girl. I mean, I'm saying, listen, I'm not trying to overcharge y'all. Yes. But anyway, so also today's sponsored video is also by a company called Derm Ray, which specializes in LED light face therapy masks. They also do have laser hair removal um, devices as well. So this right here is a LED light therapy mask. It revitalizes and renews your skin. It does so many different things. So if you guys are looking into, you know, having better skin or helping you with acne or anything of that sort, you can definitely check out them and I'll put the post your link below. I did get this on Friday, so I haven't had the opportunity of using it yet, but I'm definitely going to be doing a separate video on this actual mask. But um, I've seen these masks around a lot. Like I've been, you know, asked in several different emails what I like to try out one of these masks. I always, you know, just deleted the emails because I'm like, I ain't putting that on my face. But um, I finally said, you know what, let me let me give this a try because um, I want to I want to improve my skin. Now, my skin, there's nothing wrong with my skin, but I would definitely love to improve it. You know what I mean? And I do see a lot of people using these and such. So I said, I'm going to give this a try and see what this is all about. I also have one where you can upgrade and you can get um, like a laser therapy for your chest while you're sitting there doing your face you can do your your chest area also but it comes with this it also comes with a pouch that you can just store it in and it comes with a booklet so that way you know what to do these are the straps that you would use to hook onto the actual mask and then it's chargeable you know you have to charge it so it does come with the device and the cord revitalizes and renews your skin you can use this like a few times a week and you'll see improvement i did notice that one young lady before used one of these now i'm not really sure if it's the same brand but she did use this on her skin she did have acne prone skin and she did say that it did work out a lot in her favor for her skin now honestly when i seen these masks i really did think that these masks were more or less like a hard plastic that's what I was gathering from just visual I'm um, just looking at them online now this is not hard plastic it's like um, it reminds me of like a foam but it's not a foam I really can't describe it but now this is what it looks like in the back and it has like you know some covering and then right there all these little pieces are where the LED light would you know fit through like it has little straps so you can put it on 
you know, I, I just never got into putting like a lot of different stuff on my face. You know, sometimes when you don't put a lot of stuff on your face, your skin will stay clear. And when you put too much stuff on it, you know, you can clog your pores, you can have reactions. So I've always been one where I just clean my face really well. Um, now I'm into like the hyaluronic acids. I've been using those and I will be honest with you about that. My skin has, the pores have shrunk. So that's the one good thing. But I'll definitely leave Derm Ray's link below. Um, yeah. I'm going to do a separate video, but I just wanted to showcase that to you guys and let you guys know we're going to be trying this out. So if y'all see me in a video looking crazy and scary with one of these masks on, y'all already know the reason why. So other than that, let's stop chit-chatting because I think we chit-chatted long enough. I don't want to be holding y'all for too long, but y'all know what to do. If you want a real real talk video about you, about an issue you got going on, girl, go ahead and send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. You can go ahead and put in the subject line, real talk. So that way I know that it's an email about real talk if you want to change your names to anybody you talking about or yourself you can go ahead and let me know so on that note let's get into this real talk okay I normally pick the emails that I just go by the date that the emails come in to me. You know, I don't favoritism anybody's email, but if you do put in the subject line, emergency real talk or real talk emergency or just emergency, I'm going to definitely take a look at it first and I'm going to address it, especially if it needs to be addressed because it might be something that's really, really going on. It's not that I'm letting anybody jump ahead, but I really don't strongly adjust to just go ahead and put it emergency because if it's really not emergency, I'm not going to do it. I will do it when it, the date comes up, but you know what I'm saying? But this one, anyway, this one here is this one was titled, Emergency Real Talk, You Are So Rude and Miserable. So I was like, okay, who is she talking about? She's probably talking about somebody in the email. This is what I, you know, I, I didn't assume that she was talking about me because why would I? I am not a miserable person in no way, in shape, or form. And I'm definitely not rude unless you're rude to me. And that's not really being rude to you back. That's just checking your ass. But lo and behold, this was a rude email to me. She was talking about me, okay? Now, this really wasn't an emergency, but she titled it as such. But I felt like, you know what, bitch, I'm going to be petty too. Not even petty but i'm gonna read your email because you felt the need to address it or address me and that's what it is so let's go ahead hi april my name is dre and i subjected this real talk to you because of your real talk last week i wanted to give you my two cents regarding the lady miss lanier johnson her name is actually lanice johnson why not lanier but anyway i understand this is your platform but honestly it's rude of you to take another person's emails the way you did you were rude to her totally out of character and you could have handled her email a little more professional. There is this old saying, misery loves company and seems like you are looking for some. What I mean is you're rude and mean to people. I really don't think you should have taken it that far. You actually didn't even need to read the email. Had that been me, I would have not even bothered to read it if it had offended me so bad. But you did not need to disrespect nor belittle the woman the way you did. I get it, this is your channel, but right is right and wrong is wrong. Have a great day, Dre. First of all, Dre, shut up. Just shut up, okay? This is my rude side. Shut this shut the hell up, okay? Okay. First of all, Dre, just shut up. Just shut up. Okay. Beat it. Just beat it. Okay. You really took the time and energy out to address me about somebody else being rude. Nor, not only that, but you didn't even get the girl's name right. If you were so concerned about her, you would have realized I said Lanice, La, not Lanier. Okay. Lanice. Lanice Johnson. And for one, I wasn't rude. I wasn't rude. If I was rude, then it would be me like just off the bat being rude to her. But what I did was I checked her and I let her know that her email, her rude, mean email, email regarding women that wear wigs or get their hair and nails done or have makeup on or get their bodies done are not all the same you know what i'm saying because she did kind of like categorize them as all being ratchet okay dre so therefore if you don't think 
her email was rude and disrespectful to those that wear wigs and such, then you have a small mind, a small brain, a pea brain, okay? Now, I never am rude to anyone. I don't feel the need to be rude to people. What I do is I will check you because if you come to me and you rude and disrespectful to me, I'm not gonna be rude back to you because it's not called rude being rude. It's me checking your ass, okay? I check you, I will check that motherfucking box, I will check you off, okay? And I will let you know, I will read you just like I was reading a goddamn email. Now. Had that been you, like you said, you wouldn't have even read the email. Well, sweetheart, it wasn't you. Dre, it wasn't you. It wasn't your email. It wasn't your channel. And it wasn't you responding to the woman. It was me, April. And me being rude is one thing, but me checking someone and letting them know how they came across on the email is a different thing from being rude, okay? Totally different. I don't, I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need for... Us as women who wear wigs, weaves, or anything to be stereotyped. Now, Miss Lanice, Lanice, she wore weaves and she felt like she was different from those wearing wigs. At the end of the day, you wearing somebody else's hair. I don't give a damn if it's synthetic or human. It ain't yours. It didn't grow out your scalp. It is yours because you purchased it, but you have no way or reason. You have no reason to compare yourself as a weave wearer versus to someone that wear wigs. It's all the same. Okay, people that wear wigs is ratchet, people that wear weaves is racket, ratchet, people that wear ponytails is ratchet, people that are bald are ratchet, people that don't wear anything on their head is ratchet, people that got their own hair is ratchet. Doesn't define you as ratchet because you wear a wig. All right, that's not the thing. What you may have encountered, Lonnie's, is people that don't know how to act. Now, Dre, you might have felt that I was being rude, you might have felt that I was being mean, but what did you feel really about Lonnie's email? Did you feel like she had the right to disregard everybody else's feelings that wore wigs? Everybody else's feelings that wore um, fingernails, everybody else's feelings that wore makeup, everybody else's feelings that got their body done. Did you feel that she needed to be disrespectful to those that, that wear that? Because she said all people, all wig wearers, she didn't specify what group of wig wearers. She didn't say the rich wig wearers don't act like that. The older wig wearers don't act like that. She said people that wear wigs are ratchet and act like they're ratchet, which is so, it's just so disrespectful. You mean to tell me that because I wear a wig, I'm disrespectful and ratchet because I'm not. I'm not. Not Here's the thing with me. You give me bad energy, I'm going to give you bad energy too. I ain't going to go out of my way to give you bad energy. I'm just going to really, most of the time, I'm going to ignore you. However, if you go out of your way and you really, really making it plain and simple, plainly blunt that you are going to be disrespectful to me, girl, honey child, I'm going to make it my business to let you know that I'm about to check you. Now, these are my viewers. These are my divas and divos, Dre. And there is no way I'm going to allow anyone, and I mean no way I'm going to allow anyone to disrespect any diva or divo on my channel. These women and men that watch my real talk or watch my wig videos or just watch me in general are my family and, and my friends. And I'm not going to allow somebody to disrespect any of you guys. That's just me. If you send me an email and you are addressing anyone that wears wigs, well, honey, you are addressing some people that watch me that wear wigs. People, There are people that watch me that wear wigs. There are people that watch me that go get their nails done. There are people that watch me that wear makeup. There are people that watch me that have gotten their body done. And there are people that watch me that are my family and friends. And you are not going to disrespect them in a fucking email or any comments because I'm not about to have that shit. That's just me in general. When you disrespect anybody that follows me, anybody that watches me, then you disrespect to me. That means you have no respect for my channel. That means you have no respect for my followers. That means you have no respect for my family and friends okay so therefore if i come across as rude in me to the young lady lanise that watched me and sent that email oh well then i guess i fucking came across as rude in email dre here's what you need to do you need to gather your thoughts and re-listen to that motherfucking email and then maybe you will gather your thoughts enough to realize that i wasn't being rude nor am i fucking miserable or me one thing but i'm definitely not is miserable we're not miserable over here Oh, no, sweetheart. We are definitely not miserable over here. I might have gotten emails in the past that people feel like I'm mean or rude or miserable. Never, never miserable over here. I'm very actually happy in my life. OK, despite the things that I have went through, despite the challenges that I had to overcome and the hills that I've had to fucking climb to get to the top of the mountain. I'm happy over here. OK, despite the fact that I had to go through a lot and it took me time to be happy. Trust me when I fucking tell you I'm happy over here, despite the fact that there are still things going on in my life that I'm not too thrilled about. I'm still motherfucking happy over here. You know why? Because for one, bitch, I wake up every fucking day blessed and not stressed. OK, when I tell you, bitch, I'm happy over here. I'm motherfucking happy over here. When I tell you I wake up every day, that's the number one rule being happy so we mean waking up every day is a blessing okay and i'm glad to be here every fucking day so that right there gives me the opportunity to be fucking happy all day long i don't allow people's little minute fucking comments and emails get to me and bother me that much i don't allow people to get to me because first of all you don't really personally 
know me as a person. I have seen people, and I've seen comments saying to me, well, oh, you don't give people a chance as being your friendship. Bitch, if you fucking disrespect me on several occasions and at several times, then I'm going to cut you the fuck off because, for one, I don't have time to be going back and forth with somebody. But miserable over here, never that. I'm a really nice person if you were to get to know me. When I do my fucking real talks, when I talk on real talk, it's me being real, okay? That's what it's called, real talk. I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing when somebody comes to me and says, oh, all these bitches is ratchet because they wear wigs. I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing. Bitch, you just disrespected me. You not only just disrespected me, but you disrespected the whole community that be watching me. And I'm not about to let that fly by. Girl, please, I'm not pressed by nobody's fucking emails. I'm definitely not pressed by yours, Dre. Mm -mm. I'm definitely not pressed. If you, listen, here's the thing what I say. If you don't like me, and you don't like what I got to say, if you don't like what I dish out, if you don't like my response, okay, if you don't like how I speak, then guess what? You can always click back. You can click the back arrow. You can click exit off. You can click unsubscribe. You can do all that shit. I really don't give a fuck. This is me being me, okay? And I've been this way since I don't know when, okay? I can't say my whole life because my whole life would be 50 years and I didn't come out the wound acting like this. I didn't grow up like this, okay? But I have become this person because of certain circumstances, like being bullied, all right? But I'm, I am who I am, and I feel like this. I'm just going to be real, and if you don't really like what I have to say, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to just be me. I'm not for everybody, and that's okay because I don't want to be for everybody. I'm not about to be out here saying I like everything, I love everything, I love everybody, I like everybody, because I don't. I really, really don't like everybody. I really, really don't like everybody that I watch on YouTube, okay? I do have my favorites, all right? I have one favorite fucking reactor that I love to watch, which is Styling by Storm. I love her. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, then Styling by Storm, she is the most funniest reactor that I could feel that I could watch. I love her, all right? And I like her. I love her channel, all right? I love a lot of channels out here on YouTube that I like to watch, but I'm not for everybody. Just like you might not really care for me no more, Dre, because you felt like I was being mean and rude. That's okay, because when you lose some, you gain some. You lose some, it is what it is. Um, I Trust me when I tell you, if you unsubscribe, there's going to be somebody that's going to subscribe. It is what it is, okay? And I didn't get here on this platform or this far on this platform to be known as being fake and funky, all right? Because I'm not funky. I actually do mind my own business. I'm not fake. I mind my own business. I do what I need to do. I don't really collaborate with a lot of people. I don't really hee-haw, ho ha with a lot of different YouTubers because I'm by myself and that's how I'm going to be. Over here on my own channel, doing my own thing. And a lot of people really can't take me for the grain of salt. And that's cool, too, because... Like I said, I'm not here for everybody. I'm, I don't want to be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to do no backflips and tricks just to get subscribers or make you happy or make you like me. This is April. This is who the fuck she is. And this is how the fuck I'm going to be. And if you don't like me for who I am, then Dre, you can go ahead and beat it. All right? You can you can un unsubscribe. You can uncomment. You can do all that thing, all that stuff. But I just really don't feel like it's beneficial to categorize women that wear wigs or weaves. You know what I'm saying? It's it's bad enough out here as it is. And when I say it's bad enough out here as it is, y'all know what I mean. Like, we as black women already get a bad rap. I've seen all these different other pages or channels or just pages on social media talk about women that wear wigs, talk about women that wear makeup, talk about women that get their body done. And you never really know who's behind it, but it's just sad because they always seem to use the black woman as their actual example. You don't ever see any other race. You don't ever see white women up there. You don't see Hispanic women up there. You always see black women as the example that they use for ratchet. And it sucks. And from another black woman to send me an email and to feel like it's okay to put other black women down that wear wigs and nails and makeup, it's not right. It's definitely not right. Now, just because you may have come across someone that's ratchet, that's wore a wig, does not state that we are all like that it's not right you know what i'm saying i just feel like there's a time and a place for everything and also everybody's entitled to their opinion that's for, for damn sure but sometimes people's opinions can be a little bit too much everybody got opinion just like everybody got an asshole everybody has an opinion and just because you have an opinion doesn't make it right you know what i'm saying and it definitely doesn't make it right to stereotype us all as ratchet when we wear wigs you know what i'm saying like i said a person could have lost all their hair and that means they're ratchet because they just want to enhance their beauty a wig is a motherfucking accessory. It's an accessory, just like these goddamn bracelets are. You put them on and you take it the fuck off. And that's what it is. Now, me being rude and mean to anyone, I might be stern. Rude and stern are very different. And I'm very stern and I stand on business. And when I tell you what I tell you, when I say what I say, it is what it is. It is what the fuck it is. So, Dre, I'm sorry that you might feel like I'm rude and mean. And that's okay to feel that way because it's your opinion. And just like I stated, everybody got an asshole, okay? 
just like an opinion. And you just might be acting like one of those. An asshole. Therefore, what I can only tell you is enjoy your day. Unsubscribe and carry the fuck on. Now, y'all could leave Dre your fucking comment in the comments below. But I'm not going to address her anymore because I think I've addressed her enough. You know, I just feel like this. Everybody does have an opinion, right? Everybody has a fucking opinion. And you do what you want to do. You say what you want to say. You think what you want to think. I just really don't feel like I need to bite my tongue for nobody. I've been here on this earth for half a motherfucking century. Like before I even turned 50, I felt like, you know what? I've been here long enough. All right. When I say I've been here long enough, I've been here fucking long enough. Okay. Like straight up. Why do I have to bite my tongue for people? Like seriously, why do I? I don't feel like I need to. I just feel like this. We here for what we here for. We here for a reason. Let's enjoy our life. Let's not be fucking so nitpicky. Let's not be so mean to everybody. Let's just enjoy our fucking lives. That it is what it is. But I'm not going to allow anybody to be disrespectful to those who watch me, to those who are subscribed to me, who do, to those who I feel like are family and friends to me. Like, it's offensive. For you to say anything about people that wear wigs, it's very offensive. This might be your experience from certain people that you have met, but it isn't your experience with the entire world that wears wigs. And let's not send me emails being disrespectful. Now, she thought I was being disrespectful when rude and mean. Girl, but I don't give a fuck. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck what people think about me, like straight up. Trust me, for those who don't like me, there's a lot of people that do. I don't care. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? You think that I'm going to lose any sleep over your email or that you don't fucking like me? I, girl, please, I'm going to wake up comfortable and I'm going to go to sleep comfortable. It doesn't matter to me if you don't like me or not. I'm basically not here for everybody to like me. It is what it is. Now we're going to move on to the next thing. Y'all, did I tell y'all? Okay, so you know you can't owe when your kids donate clothes to you, all right? Like, <laughs> I'm being dead serious right now. When I tell you that, Mumsy, like, she went through her clothes, like, last week, okay? She went through her clothes. Like, they are so good. Her and my daughter, Nate, are so good with getting rid of clothes that they don't wear. Like, they will bag up, like, mad stuff. When I tell you that they bag up, like, three big garbage bags full of clothes, like, damn... I would, I would, I couldn't do it. Like I will bag up clothes that I don't wear and, but it won't be like three big bags. Like they do this like two times a year. And it's like, well, damn, y'all going to be naked. Y'all got clothes left. They'll be like, well, because I haven't wore this in a couple of months. I don't, I can't do that. I cannot get rid of stuff that I haven't wore in a couple of months. Cause I feel like, you know what, when I get rid of it, I'm going to be looking for it. I'm going to be like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have got rid of that. And I've done that before. I've, I've been there where it's like, damn, I really wish that I wouldn't have got rid of this. <laughs> Girl, I can't be getting rid of shit, but like, you know, you old when your kids start donating clothes to you. So like I was saying, Mumsy had a bunch of clothes that she was getting rid of last week because she needed to make room in her closet and her dresser drawers for new stuff. Like, girl, you just got rid of like five bags like months and months ago. Now you need to get rid of more stuff anyway. She said, well, I don't like this anymore. I don't like that anymore. Or she just can't fit it. It's gotten too big, which is a plus. I wish I could get rid of some shit that was too big for me. Okay. First of all, let's just put that out there. I wish I could get rid of some clothes that were too big for me. When I tell y'all I lost weight before and those two big clothes I still kept them because I knew I was going to gain the weight back and sure enough I did now I got a closet full of clothes that fit and don't fit okay there ain't nothing in there too big all right ain't nothing because I grew back into that shit all right I grew back into that shit but I got shit in there that don't fit and I'll be looking at it like yeah I'm not about to get rid of this because um I'm gonna lose weight and then once I lose the weight I ain't gonna have the shit no more. And I'm gonna be looking for it. So yeah, I'm not about to, I don't like to keep buying shit over and over again. I'm just a simple person. But she had donated me some clothes. Well, she didn't donate me. Yeah, she donated me some motherfucking clothes. She came in there. She came in here. She said, I got some clothes that I'm getting rid of. So if you want to look through them, you can. So I sure did carry my happy ass in the room and I picked out some stuff. This shit, and they shit, her and they stuff be looking like brand new shit when they get rid of it. Granted, my stuff do too, but as a teen, as a teenager, you would think it didn't look like that. So yes, I got on this shirt that was gifted to me. I'm going to say gifted, all right? She gifted, she gifted this shirt to me. Okay, now mind you, some of the shirts that she gifted to me or donated to me, they're not long enough, okay? Because she is a little bit smaller. So I just use them as props, all right? When I say as props, like, bitch, this is a shirt that you only gonna see right here you're not about to see my whole outfit i just because you can't see me down here so i use it for video purposes only all right now this had a little bit much cleavage shown i don't even know when mumsy wore this shirt it don't even look like she wore it at all because i have on a little tank underneath now if her boobs was out like i wouldn't even let her walk out the house like this so i don't even think she wore this shirt but yes 
You know you all when your kids is donating clothes to you, okay? But anyway, let's just jump into this next Real Talk. Okay, so she put this title. I don't know who to choose. Hello, Miss April. Thank you so much for giving us a chance to be able to vent our everyday lives out. Since I really don't know what to do, you can call me Mary for this email. So I have these two best friends. They are best friends to me and just friends to one another. Not even sure if you want to call them friends to one another anymore. So we go on this girl's trip, and I really thought we was all having a great time because I was sure we was. We were hanging out in Miami. We all are from Kentucky. So we was ready for the trip. We saved up for the trip and, and was there for a little over a week. Okay, we all pitched in for our Airbnbs. We bought groceries. Girl, we was having a grand time. Girl, we was having a grand time in the first few days. And then these two started going at it. The argument started over some raggedy ass ninja turtle who they both laid eyes on at the local beach we was at hanging out. When I tell you he was raggedy, he's raggedy. And I stress that with a capital R. They both eyeing his muscles in dreads, getting mad at one another because they both trying to approach him and the other one ain't um, and the other one wasn't trying to have it. If you ask me, dude seemed a little too zesty and I wouldn't have approached him if you paid me. Neither one of them got his number because he wasn't eyeing neither one of them. He was into this white girl. Either way, they allowed that to carry on into the night and into the night went into the next day and then days. I'm on this trip with them trying to squash their beef, settle things. There was a moment when I was right on track. You know, I thought I got in both of their good graces, but that wasn't the case. We, of course, went to the beach. Um, a few days later, and when I tell you it was a whole entire fight on the beach, it was a whole entire fight. These two literally went to grabbing on each other's hairs and clothing. I'm trying to break them up, and when I tell you it was work trying to break them up, it was work. We in the sand fighting, okay? I've got a crowd of people trying to help me, trying to get them to stop. There was sand flying on me, flying in my face, flying in my swimsuit. It was so embarrassing. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. I'm just thankful neither one of them were arrested. So now here's my dilemma. They expect me to not be the other homegirl's friend anymore. Like April, I really don't feel the need to choose. We have all been friends for the longest and they are best friends to me. I love them dearly and just cannot understand how I'm supposed to choose over one another. If they don't want to be friends with one another any longer, then that is fine. That is their business. I really feel it's childish, but I guess I get it. But I truthfully do not want to be part of the nonsense with them. The fight was over a ninja who didn't want either one of them. We're back home in Kentucky, and both of them have been dating someone. So what is the problem? How would you react to all of this? Thank you so much, Mary. You know what would be so crazy? So This would be so crazy. I'm pretty sure you guys have definitely seen stories about girls' trips and how they've ended in like either someone being unalive or fighting, you know what I'm saying? Or disagreements. I have seen that so much in the past couple of years with girl trips. And it's so, it's just so unsettling. And it's just so sad because when you are on a trip, you're going on a girl trip, that means you're trying to get away from where you're at. You're trying to unwind. You're trying to have a good time. You're trying to relax. You know what I'm saying? It's called a girl's trip. Okay. Not a couple's trip, but you're trying to get away from the reality of just life in, you know what I'm saying? And enjoy this part of your life. And when you are together with friends and you have already chipped in and you know what I'm saying, plan this trip together. But then when you get there and you guys are, rah, 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 you guys are going at it, it just makes it just so, so heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? I have seen so many different stories about women going on trips together and just battling it out with one another. And I hate to see that. I've seen so many different stories on YouTube of girls fighting on girls trips. Like what is the problem? What's crazy is you never see any women that are older doing that. You never see women like in my age group going on a girl's trip and coming back being unalived or coming back in shambles, coming back beat up or giving stories about how they didn't have a good time because their homegirl was this and this and that. Like you never see older women posting stories about that. And it's sad because it's not sad that you don't see older women doing it, but it's just sad in general because it doesn't matter what the race is, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like as a woman in general, regardless of what your race is, as a woman, you would think that we would want to band together and be the best of friends. We don't got to be best of friends, but we want to band together and uplift one another, right? Regardless of your race, because we are women. And you know, as a woman, you've gotten a bad rap, you know, from men in general. And I'm not bashing men, but as a woman in general, we have gotten a bad rap. Like we're weak, we can't do shit, this and this and that. It's, it's been a lot for women, okay? And you would think like when you go on a trip together as a woman, there are so many relatable things that y'all 
can relate to. The number one thing is being a woman, right? We are women, so we can definitely relate to that. So we have a lot in common. And you would think like as a woman, there are so many things and activities that we can do together because we have a lot in common because we are women. And it's just sad that when you go out on a trip that these fights start to occur. And what are these fights over? God knows. It seems like a lot of times women are jealous of one another. And I, that sucks because when you have a friend, you shouldn't be jealous of your friend. If you are a friend to someone and your friend has more than you, I think that are has accomplished more than you, I think that you should just be very happy for them. That's that's in my opinion. I think like as another woman and you have a friend that's accomplished more than you, I don't really feel like you should be jealous of them. I really feel like you should be happy for them because she has accomplished things and that gives you someone to look up to and someone to motivate you and also it gives you an opportunity like you know what we can work together you're not a bad person you're not a deadbeat that's a good thing right I would think that like if I went on a girl's trip with someone and she was better off than me in life I would be happy for her because maybe she could help me get to where I needed to be you understand what I'm saying I would be happy for her because at the end of the day she's not a deadbeat and I'm not a deadbeat and even if she's accomplished more than me, girl, give me your secrets and help me out. That's what I'm talking about. There's no need to be jealous of her. I would love to have a friend that's accomplished more than me because therefore that means we friends that we're going to look out for one another. And girl, you're going to tell me how to get to where you at. And I'm going to tell you how to do things. It is what it is. But I just really don't see why women go on these trips together and be jealous of one another. Like it just really doesn't make any sense to me. And I could be wrong, but I really don't understand that. And I've seen so many different stories about people being unalive or being hurt on a trip. Like, I feel like this. Girl, if you have planned something with me, if we planned a trip and you got the money and I got the money, if we planned something, I think just us alone planning something should show and signify that we have a strong relationship. Now we done went out of town and we having a good old time and you mean to tell me that you're going to get mad because I'm looking at him too? Like, girl, he ain't even yours to begin with. How you going to get, how the fuck you going to get mad? Like Chris Brown said, how you going to get mad when you can't even get in the club? Like, you can't get mad at something that ain't even yours. So what? We both eyeing him. So what? Let's just play a game. Let's see who can get him first. It doesn't even matter. You guys are on a vacation. I don't understand when these girls go on vacation, these women go on vacation, y'all trying to get with a dude that's on vacation with you. He busy trying to fuck whoever's on the beach and readily available. Why the fuck you care? Now these girls is back at home in Kentucky. They both dating men and they still mad at what? They still mad with each other over some dude that was on a beach that wasn't even fucking checking for them. He was checking for the white girl. Okay, he wasn't even checking for your black ass. He wasn't checking for y'all. That right there alone should let y'all know, like, girl, why was I even mad at you? And laugh it off. But here we got Mary who was trying to squash the beef with them the whole, the rest of the time that they was on the vacation. And it didn't even happen. Girl. And then y'all got on the beach and started fighting. You know something? I like, I, I don't never like to be embarrassed in public. I don't. And being on the beach, fighting, and fist fight, I think I would have just... I would have probably tried to break it up for sure. I probably wouldn't have let it escalate to a fist fight, that for sure, because we're not about to be on the beach fighting. Could you imagine being on the beach fighting, fighting in sand? That's got to be hard because it's hard enough to walk. Girl, I, you know what? Let me tell you something. I wouldn't be fighting nobody on the sand because I'd be tired. All right. My energy. No, thank you. Like you, you would have to tell me about myself. OK, like you have to be yelling at me. I, listen, I'll be like, can when we get back on the concrete? On, on on steady ground, then we could go at it. But right here on the beach in the sand, bitch, I'm not about to fight you. Because I don't want no sand in my hair. I don't want no sand in my eyes. Okay? And I damn sure don't want to struggle on the beach with you. Walking on the fucking sand is work. That shit tire you out. Okay? And it's hot? Oh, hell no. We not... What I just tell y'all about the coolness and staying cool. Now you got me on the beach trying to fight you in the sand, in the heat, and I'm half-dressed? Oh, God. Those are those right there would let me know. Like, bitch, just talk your shit. Talk your shit. But when we get on the concrete, on steady level ground, bitch, I'm about to dust your ass out, okay? Better yet, when we get indoors, where some AC, I'm about to fuck you up. I'm not about to fuck you up on the beach, for damn sure. I'm not about to even fight you on the concrete outside. It's too hot for that, and I really don't want to fall on a hot pavement. But when we get indoors, where there's some air conditioning, oh, yeah, best believe these hands is on, okay? Listen, I'm. I, you know how they say, choose your battles wisely? Bitch, I'm choosing indoors where it's cool, okay? I can't be outside fighting in the heat. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It's too hot for that. It's too hot to be outside in Miami fighting anybody. Like, can we, can we, like, I'll be looking at, can we wait until we get back to the Airbnb to do this? Okay, where, yeah. And knowing me, can we wait until we get back to the Airbnb? Make sure there's nothing breakable around because I don't want to be paying for nobody's shit, all right? Like, I don't want to fight right now. Bitch, talk your shit. Please don't even talk your shit too much to me because you might talk too much shit and then you're going to have to have me, force me to fight you on the beach. And I don't want to be forced to do anything I don't want to do, okay? Especially in the heat. And the sand, oh, God, no. And I'm half-dressed, oh, God, no.
Mary, you good. You good. Because I think I would have cussed both them bitches the fuck out. And then I would have fought both them bitches when we got back to the house. Okay? There's no way you're going to embarrass me in the heat. So she not only was breaking up a fight, but she got sand in her face, her hair, wherever. Okay? And she probably got tossed around too. All right? And now she's asking me who to choose. Listen, let me tell you something. As a grown-up, you shouldn't have to choose nobody. That's one thing. If I don't, if just because y'all not speaking don't mean that I got to be part of that shit. And that's what you need to tell them. Y'all are grown. Y'all are not in elementary school. Okay. Maybe in elementary school, that's what people do. Like, well, you're not my friend. You're not her friend. I'm not your friend either. Okay. That's what we used to do in elementary school. Maybe even in high school. Okay. Yeah. I, I've done it in high school. If my, if my best, my bestie don't like you, bitch, I don't like you either. And that was in high school. But we grow. We don't went on a girl's trip. That means we grow. Now, when we grow, we don't do stuff like that. We don't say, well, she ain't speaking to you. I ain't speaking to you either. It all depends on the subject. Okay. It all depends on how detrimental it is. But I'm not about to choose to speak to you over her. Y'all both wrong. You're both of your friends, Mary, are wrong. They both wrong because y'all both, they both were eyeing the same dude. Okay. And like she said, he was raggedy. So maybe you need to talk to your friends about that. Maybe you need to have a sit down with the both of them separate first. And let them know, listen, y'all both, you know, both need to calm down and y'all both need to mature a little bit. And y'all both need to realize that this man wasn't into neither one of you guys. And he was raggedy. If you speak to them like that, and I'm pretty sure you have already, sometimes you have to let shit die down before you move in to approach them to have a conversation. Like you tried this during the vacation and okay, granny, you tried. They was probably still being hot headed. They was probably still upset. Definitely. They definitely was still upset because like you said, you thought you got in their good graces, but lo and behold, they started fist fighting on the beach a few days later. So they still was hot headed and they still was in their temps, they temperament about the situation. Now things have died down. They have moved on. They got themselves some men. They are dating. Now it's your time to approach them. Listen, I love y'all both. And I feel like this is really immature. Bring up the fact that they're dating other men and that they have moved on. Maybe that might get you in your good graces or get them in each other's good graces, what it really needs to be. But I don't think that you should choose. And you really need to let them know that choosing to be such and such friend over this person is really childish. And as a grown person, this is not what we do. As a woman, we are supposed to stick together. We are supposed to band together. Now, I know some of y'all be like, bitch, please, if she ain't speaking to her, I'm not speaking to her. That's your opinion. And that's what you want to do. But I just feel like this. As a woman, we should uplift one another. You ain't got to lift uplift every fucking woman, but be courteous. You know what I'm saying? Be polite. Be Treat others as you would want to be treated, especially as a woman. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't saying that I'm the best at treating other women the way I would want to be treated. That's because if you strike me wrong, bitch, I'm going to strike you the fuck back. I don't care. But I don't go around fighting women over some man, especially if he ain't mine. Now, it would be one thing if that was her man, it was one of their men, and the other one was trying to, you know, approach him or iron him, but it was neither one of them. They didn't know this man from a hole in a wall or the sand on the beach, and he wasn't even iron neither one of them. He wasn't paying attention to neither one of them, okay? Which is sad. It is sad when you fight over a man that don't even want you. That's the sad part about it. It don't matter if he knew them or not. When you fight in your friends over some man that don't even want you, girl, then you have lost your marbles, okay? And this is what you really need to tell your friends, not to be fighting over men that don't even want them. That's so pathetic and so childish like seriously at the end of the day this dude went and tried to talk to another girl not saying that as a bad thing because that's his that's him that's his life he do what he want to do but these two girls were friends all three of them went on a girl's trip together and the two of them fell out so here we got mary she's like the middleman she's speaking to this one she's speaking to that one i can only imagine how awkward and how tense the whole situation and stressful the whole situation is this is what i'll be talking about this is probably like the second or third email i've gotten regarding girl trips and how they fell out and it sucks like it sucks. Like I've wanted to take a girl trip before too, but after reading these emails and stuff, girl, I'm gonna just take a, I'm gonna take a girl trip. All right. But the girl trip that I'm gonna take is going to be with my three daughters. And, and that's a girl trip right there. They grown. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have memories and we're going to have good laughs. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, neither, neither one of us are going to be on any type of trip, fist fighting and yelling at each other, especially over no men. Okay. That's what we're not going to do. But I just really feel like these girls trips have gotten out of hand. You know what I'm saying? And it's not fair to everyone on the trip to be fighting. Sometimes a lot of the times though, it just seems like a lot of women are just of one another. Girl, listen, I'm not jealous of any other woman or anybody because what you got is what you got and what I got is what I got. And at the end of the day, just because you see someone doesn't mean that their life in general is a bed of roses. You don't know what a person is really going through. And it doesn't even matter if you're their friend or not. You know what I'm saying? 
Y'all could be best of friends, but you just don't know everything that's going on in their life because they choose not to share it. So being jealous of another person is just not even necessary because I just feel like this the same way you got something, bitch, I can get it too. It might take me longer. It may not. But whatever you got, I could get the same shit too. It ain't no thing. And it might not be the same man, but just believe me, trust and believe whatever you got, I can get. There's no need to be jealous of any particular woman for that matter. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like when you go and you plan something together to do something, let's not make the worst out of it because you took the time out to plan this trip. So why go on a trip and make it miserable? Why go on a trip and make it bad for others? Like we don't do stuff like that. We are here to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Mary, don't choose between your friends. You really do need to have a sit down with them and you really do need to bring them together and have a sit down with them. Now, other times I have suggested let's go out in public and speak to one another. Girl, if I them over to your house okay or your apartment or wherever you live invite them over make get one of those um oh god i'm just gonna kill me to say this make one of those chartreuse boards okay chartreuse make one of those and also have them bring one each that way y'all have three different you know what i'm saying platters y'all can have some drinks you know or maybe not drinks because sometimes when you have drinks it just brings out the worst in people have some agua okay have some water but Make those chartreuse boards. I hope I'm saying it right, okay? You know, I, look, I got to sit here and concentrate. Chartreuse boards, okay? Each one of you bring a chartreuse board, and y'all sit down, and y'all talk out your differences. Because now you need to talk out your differences as well, Mary, because they are putting you in the midst of it, and now they're expecting you to choose. Girl, listen, ain't nobody choosing. I'm not choosing between nobody. This is what it is, and this is how we're going to do things, okay? Period. So on that note, Give Mary your suggestions down below. What do y'all think Mary should do? What would you do? Have you guys ever went on a girl's trip and had any type of altercations? Have y'all went on a trip in general, on a vacation, and got into it with anybody that you were on the trip with? I'm not counting the people that y'all don't know, but I'm counting the people that you have went on this trip with. How has your trips planned out? How have they, you know, how have they been? What would you do in the situation if you had two friends that were going at it and you were the middleman, okay? As a grown woman, I just feel like let's just get along. Can we all just get the fuck along? Anyway, make sure you check out Made by Muff Accessories. I will link it below if you want some really, really nice little accessory pieces. Girl, look, you know, I be really working it out, girl. I be, I'm telling y'all, I be working it out with my little things, my little jewelry. I love making jewelry. This is my thing, okay? This is my thing. I am a crafty type of gal. When I tell you I am crafty, baby, I am a crafty type of gal. Luxury charm bracelets, all type of them, okay? So check the website out. I thank y'all for showing love and support to me, my channel, my family, my videos, everything, my website, everything. I hope y'all all have like a beautiful, blessed day. Stay safe, stay diva and devo delicious. And I will see y'all in the comments. Bye. Go, 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 go. Bye.